A happy Good Friday to all the viewers out there. And as the lockdown continues, we could all use some good news. So here they are. Spam now has 25% less sodium. So now my kids can eat 25% more to get their daily requirement. With this quarantine lockdown, we have realized that superheroes actually walk among us. No, we're not talking about the frontliners. We're talking about actual superheroes who were spotted doing ordinary things like these superheroes. Of course, when there are superheroes out there, we have super villains. In the Republic of Iloilo, curfew violators were punished by making them watch a documentary on the spread of the COVID-19 virus. The documentary lasts for three days. It was directed by Lav Diaz and produced by the same producers as Ang Provinciano. So that means this will run for another three years. Say no to the close down of ABS-CBN except for Ang Provinciano. In the show Good Morning Britain, the anchors thank the Filipino nurses working in the NHS. We'd like to personally thank them as well. Thank you, Ningning, Bongbong, Junjun, Toto, Bogs, and Boyet. We'll be sending you your Tuyo and Chip soon. The Queen of England sent a much needed message of hope praising the President of the Philippines. Oh, wait, this was actually a manipulated image designed to spread some fake news. Now, here is the original image from the Queen. A good side effect of this lockdown is now Metro Manila has one of the cleanest air in the world. In fact, if you go to Manila Bay, this is the view that you will see. The pollution in Metro Manila is at an all-time low. In fact, in Capo Church, they discovered that the black Nazarene is actually white. <laughs> And now, let's check on the traffic update in Metro Manila. Let's get to our street correspondent, Herman Gacosta. Herman? Thank you, Herman. Be safe out there. In this time of crisis, we see a lot of ordinary people doing courageous things, like supermarket employees still going to work, security guards still protecting us. I don't mean to brag, but... Earlier this week, I did a courageous thing. I let my wife cut my hair. And another good news, my tita Chichai just recovered from COVID-19. Now she can go back to smoking. Another good news, Proms all over the world are being cancelled, which is great news for us dads because that means our daughters get to keep their virginity a little longer. Virtual high five. That's, that's a win for us dads. And let's get back to Herman Gacosta for some traffic update. Baguio City continues to be the model city in controlling this pandemic. Today is the 10th day of no new cases in Baguio City. The mayor attributes this to transparency, mass testing using artificial intelligence CT scan, and eating lots of ube, which means it's time for the ube dance. If there's any good news you'd like to share, please comment below. And remember, no matter how dark it gets, there's always good in the world. I've been Tim Tayag, and this has been Some Good News Philippine Edition. Be safe, guys.